It is a powerhouse, no doubt about it. It's got to a scale now where people are recognising it as being a viable, sustainable, long-term economy um, and a long-term growth story, more to the point, uh, with, again, the infrastructure investment coming forward over the next few years. Attracting a lot of people's attention and also um, investment from government, particularly for uh, uh, what I would say is the um, infrastructure um, projects that need to be uh, invested in, uh, obviously HS3, HS2, uh, are a few and Manchester Airport which I find is a very good airport that people do fly into. We've obviously got good connectivity to the rest of the region. Actually having Manchester United and Manchester City now is such a great pull because people worldwide are Manchester United fans and they know where Manchester is because of football. Investors looking for the next best thing after London to invest into and predominantly the answer has been Manchester uh, when that question has been asked. So that goes for, for all sectors, office investment, uh, residential, retail, leisure, um, you know, every month or so it seems that Manchester's breaking occupancy records. Manchester in itself is taking at the forefront of that and is driving through growth and business generation, attracting a lot of attention from not only corporate occupiers but investors, global investors. CoStar said this morning that, was it 48% of the investment in Manchester had come from um, worldwide places and a lot of that has come in through the Far East. More than just having a great Chinatown uh, in the city, it's about having you know, that Chinese investment um, foundation um, in the economy as well. It's, it's going to move a lot of different things forward. A lot of the uh, fears around the Chinese stock market and hard landing etc I actually see as a positive. Um, Rather than invest locally, a lot of people in that market are looking at safer assets and um, the value of London perhaps precludes them from investing there, so their next destination is Manchester. But there's also the rental growth story, which is prevalent in Manchester, as there's been a significant grade A office supply shortage. Uh, there's 216,000 square feet of existing stock currently in the market in Manchester, which is due to be occupied by quarter three, quarter four by next year. So therefore, I think that shortage in itself will help to increase rents, drive rents forward, and also look to kickstart some new, further speculative office development in the city centre. There is a healthy competition between Birmingham and uh, Manchester. Um, I'd like, I clearly would say Manchester is the second city. Clearly Birmingham is much closer to London and will potentially with HS2 become more of a potential dormitory town, whereas Manchester is actually far enough away to actually stand on its own two feet and also coming, linking back to the northern powerhouse. It'll actually spread the benefit through the region and across, to the, across the Pennines.